Call him. Question. How do we call him? He gave us a signal. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. I'm James, thanks for stopping by. And a special shout out to all of our new subscribers. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. We're aiming for 4,000 subscribers and thank you for all of your support. Victor Aguilar has woke up. Before we get into today's video, if you are not caught up with The Penguin with the first seven episodes of The Penguin, hit pause right now, go watch those on HBO, and come back. I'll see you in seven hours. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this. Crown's Point has been demolished, blown up by Sofia Gigante going after The Penguin where it hurts the most. His whole operation has been shut down. Absolutely just in rubble. And then at the end, we see Marcus Wise come and just poof, club him out and knock him out. And he's taking him over to Sophia. To what end? We don't know yet. Last week I did a video on where is Batman? And a lot of people said, I don't care where Batman is. And that's great. And neither do I. Look, Batman not being in the show has not ruined the show or taken anything away from my experience of this show. The topic at hand is that Batman exists in the universe. Batman is there, right? He's running the streets at night. During the day, he might be sleeping, but at night we know he's, he's around. The bat signal goes in the air, blah, blah, blah. To know more about where I think Batman is, you could check out that video up there. But today I want to talk about whether or not I think the Batman is going to make an appearance in the final episode of The Penguin. Of course, Matt Reeves has famously said we will not be seeing Batman in this show. We've been told this multiple times, almost to temper our expectations. Do not hope on, on Battinson appearing in The Penguin. But like I said, Batman exists within this world. And after what just happened to Crown's Point, you've got to believe that somehow, where somehow, Batman is on the prowl. Batman will take notice of this, whether he's injured or out of town or not, Batman will take notice. And regardless of that, I think something else is at play here. So do I think the Batman is gonna make an appearance in the final episode of The Penguin? No. I don't think we're gonna see Batman in this episode. Do I think it's a mistake not to have Batman in this episode? Also, the answer is no, because I did that video last week where I explained I think he's out of town doing what he's doing because of the No Man's Land act and all that stuff. I think Bruce Wayne is out of town and thus Batman is out of town. And, you know, if, if anyone says anything about where is Batman and Bruce Wayne at the same time, Batman's injured, man. He got shot multiple times at close range. He got shot multiple times at the end of the Batman. So if he needs a day or two to relax, that's fine. He's going to get that time. No issue there. So that's why I think it makes sense for him not to be around. Do I think it's right? for the? I think the audience, we've been told not to expect the Batman. But here's the main issue with the, with the Batman appearing in the final episode, especially the final episode of The Penguin, that this show is called The Penguin. And some people have already complained that Sophia Falcone has taken that away from The Penguin, that some of it has become her show. I've got those comments a lot. I've seen it on Twitter a lot. You see that people are like, oh, this is Sophia's show. And I think Sophia has been great. And I don't make, I wouldn't complain about that whatsoever. But people are saying that they're making that complaint. And if that is a complaint with Sophia, imagine what that could be if Batman showed up. Batman would take all of the air away from The Penguin. We have to root for the Penguin to become the Penguin. So that way we can't root for him anymore, but we need to see that progression of the Penguin. The minute the Batman shows up, it becomes the Batman show. We need to follow the Batman. We want the Batman's perspective when it comes. He's going to suck the oxygen out of the series. And I know it's easy to say, no, that's not true. That's not true. I love Penguin. I think I'll, I'm really invested in Penguin. Yeah, no, so am I. But he's the hero. Batman is the hero. Batman is the one that you go to the theater to see. Penguin's great, and I would totally go see a Penguin movie. Do not get me wrong, but Batman is the hero. Batman's the one that when he enters the stage, and he is the main focus. He is the hero, and he has to win at the end of the day. And in this series, Oz Cobb has to win. He can't lose. If Oz loses at the end of this, then what is the point of this series? He can lose in the next movie, but even then, for, for Oz to lose whatever it is he's going to lose in the next movie, it has to be something big, and Batman's really, really going to have to outsmart him because we've seen what Oz can do. He's the master manipulator. He's man manipulated his way through everything, every aspect of life. He killed his own brothers when he was a kid. He murdered them when he was a kid and he was okay with it. He's okay. Now, 
I do believe that he carries some of that guilt with him, and we see that with some of the scenes with him and his mom, and that's why he really puts the onus on him to look after his mom, and that's why he cradles her in that one episode in which she's very disappointed with him. You can see it in his eyes, like he let her down. I think that guilt carries with him. Maybe, but also maybe not, because he's a straight-up villain, and maybe he carries no guilt. But I do think when it comes to his mom, his mom is his soft spot, and that's why I think his mom's dying in the final episode, because you get rid of that soft spot, and you've got full-blown penguin and i think i think he emerges as the penguin after that bomb goes off when all the bliss is like taken out his gang is taken out what does he have left he has victor but back to batman so i think it would make sense for batman to appear in the final episode after everything that just went down but also if penguin's going to this monroe jazz club batman might not be able to track him and it's broad daylight the great call making it broad daylight the minute it's nighttime that's when batman would be like i gotta go but during the day batman's a little bit more reserved right he doesn't always come out at night the bat signal doesn't show so well in a blue sky or gray sky in this version of gotham if you will so i think it made a lot of sense for that to be the case and i really don't think this series could have a character like Batman or the Batman and just coming in. I just can't see that happening because like I said, it becomes the Batman show at that point. The movies are for Batman. The show is for Penguin. And if they do other shows, it's for those villains. We got to understand those villains. We got to learn with those villains and grow with those villains. And the minute Batman comes in, he sucks the oxygen out of everything. Like I said, like it becomes his show. And I don't think there's any way around that. He's too big a personality, a character to not have him in there. I mean, I guess in the Suicide Squad, it kind of worked where he showed up. But even I feel like in those scenes, he was the dominant factor in those scenes. So I think just having him appear in the Penguin, even subtly, all of a sudden, you start to shift how you feel about the situations and scenarios that are going through. And all of a sudden, you're like, maybe I don't want to root for Ozcop. And you don't want to. But in the show, you have to because we have to get to a point where Oz can be a threat for Batman. And right now, he's not a threat for Batman. I mean, he's probably right now. He probably is, but he's not quite there yet. And then if it becomes Batman versus Oz Cobb, where was that for the first seven episodes? All of a sudden, we get that in episode eight, but we don't get that for the first seven episodes. So that's where it kind of also gets a little bit muddy. So I think, I, I think it is the right choice not to have Batman in this episode especially and you know we haven't had him yet we had the mention i think we could have used a little bit more mentioning of batman i like it hasn't bothered me to be honest but i could i see when people say it's bothered them i can understand it you're watching a show about a villain in the batman world and you don't even really get a reference to batman that's a little bit off i will say this though i do think the very last scene of this series is going to be Oz Cobb fully fleshed out in penguin mode. Whether it's Top Hat Monocle, I don't know. Definitely, I think a cigar, though. And he's going to be there. Probably a new car. And he's going to look up at the night sky. And that bat signal is going to be hovering over his head. And that's what I think. Very bad memory turns with Catwoman, I guess. But yeah, that is my suspicion. That's going to be like the final call of the batman so we're not going to get we got to mention the beginning and then we're going to bookend it with the bat signal at the end of the episode that's going to lead us into the batman 2 other things might happen in this episode that'll lead us to the batman 2 but that's my suspicions my expectations of the batman in the final episode of the penguin i say not gonna happen let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching everybody give us a like and a subscribe and until next time maybe the master of your own universe